So this little caterpillar um, spends the first part of his life and he's growing and uh, he's on a tree somewhere or maybe he's in a garbage tin somewhere um, and just eating scraps. And he hopes one day he's going to be a butterfly or a moth. He's not too sure what he's going to turn into. Just wrap himself up into a cocoon and, and off he'll go. Along the way, he'll get some information. He'll, uh, he'll pick up pieces of food and eat that. Some of that food will be good for him. Some of that food will be bad for him. He'll start to have an experience. It's unlikely he'll have diarrhea. It's unlikely he'll have constipation. He won't have irritable bowel syndrome or leaky gut. It's highly likely he could have depression because his mates die early. Um, but it's, uh, it's highly likely that he's going to have some kind of an experience on the planet, albeit pretty short. His end goal, his end goal is to turn into something that could fly. It's kind of nice, isn't it? Really nice. Anyway, so he wraps himself up in a little cocoon. He's had his meal and uh, he ends up coming out of, of the cocoon and he turns into a moth. A little bit disappointed by that. He was hoping he'd be a butterfly. Uh, he, you know, he's flying around late one night and there's a lot of lights around and he flies around and he flies into the podiatrist. And he goes into the podiatrist and, uh, and the podiatrist says, can I help you? And he says, yeah, um, I'm, I'm here to see you. And he said, well, what, what, what are you doing here? And he said, well, can we go into your room? And so he goes and sits down in his room. And so the moth and the podiatrist are chatting away. Could be the barefoot podiatrist, I'm not sure. But anyway, he goes in there and he says, uh, I'm a bit confused. You know, life's pretty tough. You know, I had hoped I was going to be a butterfly. I read all this information if I ate these leaves and if I climbed this particular tree and if I, uh, I did X, Y, and Z and I saw all this stuff, I heard that I'd become a butterfly. My mum, I understand, she got hit by a car the other day and she's dead. My best mate, he flew into a bug zapper. Like, life's just a bit crappy. So I've been searching for information and that's why I'm here. And the podiatrist says, well, I'm a podiatrist and I think you actually need to see a psychologist. How come you came here to see the podiatrist? And the moth said, well, the light was on. <coughs> now, <coughs> the reason I tell that story, because we see that mirrored in wellness. And this is where I want to get to, because you're going to learn a lot of stuff this weekend. We're going to learn a lot of stuff. It's like the drunk guy who's walking home from the bar, from the pub, and he drops his keys somewhere, and he's looking around everywhere, he's trying to find it. And he goes and he sees there's a lamppost. He looks underneath the lamppost and he goes, I can't find my keys. And he's looking under the lamppost because that's where the light is, but that's not where his keys are going to be. But he only went to where the light was. We see that in wellness. In wellness, what we've got is we've got some amazing experts, and you'll see many of them this weekend. This weekend. And then we've got a whole bunch of people that don't know a whole lot that have got unbelievable Instagram accounts. Unbelievable. And they're spreading information. And there's still people out there that still believe that you can cook with coconut oil on high heat and still come out okay. And that's just the ignorance of what the research and the science tells us. So that means that there's people out there that are in the wellness industry still telling you information that's not true. And that concerns me. So I know that this weekend you're gonna be exposed to some amazing information. I'd love you to just culture that and just kind of think about what it actually means.